in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, there were times where I was having so much fun with Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak that I would buy a $2 cosmetic so I could make my cat look cool. Or I would buy the fluffy weapon layered armor. Or I would buy a layered armor so I could play as Fiorain. That's one of the characters in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Because I was having fun with the game. And it wasn't taking anything away from my core gameplay experience or locking anything behind shady business practices for that matter. So, if Diablo 4 did that, where we had a fun end game, where the loot was fun, where everything that you did in the game actually made you want to eat, sleep, breathe Diablo 4, they would actually make money with their microtransactions. But no, unfortunately, Mike Yaba, Bobby Kochek, it's all about less fun, all about monetizing it and maximizing corporate's profits. And you know, I understand they're in the business of making money, but when you do that too many times and you burn your player base, eventually it comes back to bite you in the ass. Look at World of Warcraft's numbers right now. It's probably been the worst that it's honestly ever been for a game. And it's sad that it's that way, but it is that way. That's the fact of the reality. And I have a feeling that Diablo 4, even with Season 2, with target farming bosses, unless there's something truly amazing that they've been holding back that they just decide to activate now which i doubt they are because if you got you know yearly expansions you're probably going to lock that behind a pay gate because why give some fun game mechanics for free when you can charge people for it i'm not even trying to be cynical i'm just saying from a business perspective of based on their practices in the past with other things why actually you know give it for free right i could be wrong maybe they'll make the expansions free but i wouldn't there's not a snowball chance and how that any of those expansions are coming out for Diablo 4 are going to be free for the yearly one. I would be shocked. I would be. I, I, I honestly challenge a Blizzard right now on my stream. Make them free. Surprise me. Put your money where your mouth is. Shock me. Make me eat my own foot with your expansions. But I will bet everybody here they're not going to do that. They're going to try to milk us for as much money as possible. And make it as least fun as possible, too. I guarantee you, more people would probably spend more time in the seasonal content and make more seasonal characters just to kind of experience all the top tier builds if there was a better reason and faster way to level. But, you know, what do I know? I've only been playing Diablo for a long time. I only have a YouTube channel that was dedicated to a lot of things for Diablo for a very long time, too. So, you know, my input, you know, probably doesn't matter as much. Maybe because I'm not in the back pocket of blizzard unlike some of the top content creators right now who are just kind of shilling right now for diablo 4 and i don't blame them maybe if they were going to take a you know you got to pay your bills and everything you start okay fine but as somebody who you know used to review things for a living i've always believed in not lying to the consumer i believe that you have a responsibility as somebody who gives reviews and you know who makes content or who does things, you know, in a journalism perspective for that matter, to have some sort of integrity. The best cosmetic they've had personally in Diablo 4 is the one they just released, which is like a horse mount. It's like $20. Uh, for $20, I'm not even trying to be cheap or anything. I would just buy a new video game, an indie video game. That's another thing too that kind of pisses me off about Diablo 4 is the fact that you bring back a lot of skills from Diablo 2 that weren't in Diablo 3, and then you make them um, incredibly weak and incredibly underpowered and they don't even work a lot of them the way that they worked in Diablo 2 so it's like you're trying to get Diablo 2 players for the nostalgia and then it doesn't even work correctly there right like I would love to play a Windrude build where I don't have to use the werewolf or try to get like a unique that is like world tier 4 locked and another thing too with Diablo 4. I'm not trying to hate on it. I'm just, you know, picking apart from a critical analysis perspective. Somebody used to do stuff like this. Like, look here. We got a War Boots to drop. It's probably not going to be good War Boots. But it's something that's a rare drop. And we've only been, like, farming. <gasps> oh, it's a Mortar King's Pillar. I... I need this. I don't have these boots. I need them for my Barbarian. What are the chances that I was going to get that to drop? See? That's what makes Diablo fun. When you're getting 
dopamine hits like that. That's what Diablo 4 is kind of missing. Just those, oh, hey, it didn't take that long to get a super rare drop to happen. Hey, it's a useful super rare drop. Not for this character, but another character that I'm playing. That's what's missing from 4. That sense of excitement. That sense of accomplishment. That sense of, oh, shit, did I get something I needed? You know, and it's a shame that a game is in that type of state where you don't have fun playing it. 